Hello, and welcome to another episode of Maximum Paw. And today, I'm excited to introduce you guys to Tech and Mobile, one of the top three wireless companies in Africa, and the official tablet partner of the Manchester City Football Club. They carry everything from full-featured phones to earbuds, along with smartwatches and cables. Today, in particular, we're going to be looking at the Techno Bravo B1 wireless earbuds. Um, they claim to have 38 hours of music playback time. Let's take a look at them. So these are currently available from Techno's Amazon shop for only $29.99, which is actually a really good price given the fact that they are IPX5 resistant, so they'll survive a worked out. And given that 38 hour uh, battery life, that's actually pretty flipping good. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. So as I was looking on their website, it looks like these are Bluetooth 5.0 and they do have a 300 milliamp hour battery. But before we cut into them, let's just go ahead and let me appreciate the fact that I'm a fan of this packaging. You guys know I love packaging. I do like this metallic font right here that catches your eye. I like the blue aesthetic of it overall. The one thing I'm not a fan of though is, uh, again, I really wanted to point this out to you guys, is uh, this plastic packaging back here. Uh, it looks like the sh you know they kind of missed a spot or it looks like the shrink wrap isn't the appropriate size for this. And this kind of reminds me from, uh, this reminds me of the scene from Hotel for Dogs where that kid is in the bathroom uh, trying to shrink wrap some rocks into some Boost Mobile boxes to scam somebody at a pawn shop. Uh, but again, I guess we can give them the pass since it looks like they're, uh, uh, they might just be having some trouble in packaging, all right? <laughs> But all jokes aside, uh, I am a huge, huge fan of Beck here. It says that the playing time maximum volume at, at maximum volume will be 30 hours. Now that that is really, really honest because most of them will just tell you it'll last 38 hours, but they don't tell you that's usually at, what is it, three fifths volume or halfway volume. This one tells you that if you listen to it at 60%, you'll get the full 38 hours. And if you happen to blast it, which most of us happen to do, you're gonna get only a maximum of 30 hours. Again, I really appreciate that. That's very honest. They didn't have to do that, but they did. I'm a fan of the QR code. Uh, however, when you follow it, instead of it taking you to a web page that shows you perhaps uh, instructions on how to use them or maybe some specifications about it, it just takes you to Techno's uh, Facebook page. Uh, I mean, that's one way to network and one way to market, right? And another thing that I'm a fan of is that you do have down here service.us at techno-mobile.com. In case you run into any issues, you can go ahead and email them and let them know what exactly your issue is and maybe perhaps they can help you with it, right? So let's go ahead and, well, you know, enough talking. Let's finally dive right into them. Let's make a little slit at the top and put this aside. And let's open these up. Okay. This side. And I'm open. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this aside for right now. It looks like in the box we got any stickers, no stickers. Okay, so it looks like we got a quick start guide as well as a user manual. Um that's actually pretty good because normally these things don't really come with uh, instructions. They just come with legal and safety. But on this one, we clearly see that we have in-ear in controls. We have volume up, volume down. We have next track. Uh, I believe you should be able to answer and end phone calls with this. And it tells you the different operations of it. You know, how to, you know, power on, you long press the multifunction button and so on and so on. That is actually really detailed and uh, a lot better than I thought it would. Again, here we have Techno's um, QR code that links you to their Facebook page. Again, one way to network, right? Let's go ahead and put this back. And the Quick Start Guide. Let's see. Okay, I'm a fan of this. I like pictures. Okay. 
Okay, the input voltage should not exceed five volts. It's micro USB. Okay, that's how it should fit. Long press the play button to pair. You play, pause, you tap it, short press to play pause. You press on one second for forward, press on one second and backward. Okay, volume up, volume down, short press. Short press to answer, short press to hang up. Two second press to reject, two second press for the voice assistant, and 10 second press for the reset factory settings, and three second press for off. So, pretty self explanatory, pretty simple. Uh, most wireless uh, headphones tend to have the similar control pattern or similar control scheme. So, now for our actual earbuds. So we got this very nice, uh, it's actually a very thick, I, I know you guys can't really see it, but this is a very nice and very thick uh, mesh bag that comes included with it. Um, very thick, it's not It's not one ply, it looks like it's two or three ply. It's again, very thick, very nice. I might use this for some other purposes. I would even toss in an SSD in there, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue. Now for set. For accessories, oh, I didn't want to rip it out, but it's not an option. It looks like we got different earbud tip sizes, but not just that, we have different ear hook sizes. You know, these are the ones that are gonna grab on and hook onto your ear, and that's actually pretty cool. Are these labeled? They are not labeled unfortunately okay i mean you can tell that these are the large ones obviously you can tell that these are the small ones uh but then these are the ones that i would like to have labeling for in case your ear canal happens to be a little bit deeper and i'm gonna guess that these are the middle ones the ones that have come in medium length because they are bigger than the small ones but smaller than the big ones okay so yeah it looks like these come just like every other pair of headphones they come pre-installed with the medium ones we're gonna go ahead and put all our goodies aside. Uh, I'm a fan of that though. Uh, you don't usually see that level of customization uh, or control on the majority of these cheap entry level wireless headphones. You usually just get the one size and that's all That's all that you get, you know. What you get is what you get and that's it. There's nothing else. Um, but again, in case the pre-installed ones, the medium ones happen to be way too small, you can move up to the big ones, to the large ones. In case they happen to be way too big, you can go ahead and move on down to the small ones, right? Um, and again, just taking these out of the box, just feeling them, they they feel pretty nice, they feel fairly premium, they have that soft feeling to them. And I'm sure you guys noticed this already before, but these are, I guess, magnetic, and, and they, you know, they hook together, they click together. Uh, they do have this little plastic sleeve here to prevent from scratching. Let's go ahead and take that off. Oh yeah, those are gonna get scratched right away. I'm sure they were there for a reason. Um, oh yeah, that's gonna scratch. That's okay. I'm going to, oh, I was kind of hoping that those little things up there were adjustable dials, but I guess that they are not. Um, so again, looking at it, here are our in-ear controls. Play, volume down, volume up, and it looks like our, is our charging port here? Huh, and our micro USB charging port is in here. That is a, that is an odd place to put it, considering they could have put it down here. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and continue. It comes with these little Velcro loops that I'm a huge, huge fan of. It doesn't take much to impress me, guys. <laughs> uh, and again, very nice, very thick uh, feeling cable. It has that soft feeling to it. Uh, it almost, almost feels hollow. That's how soft it is, but it's it's not hollow. There's no give to it. It's just that soft, soft texture. Uh, and again, I, I really wish that they, that's such an odd placement for the USB port to be on the in-ear controls rather than on the actual thing. Let's go ahead and try to put them on. Okay. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is usually supposed to be on the right side. Now let's go ahead and put them in. Uh, 
I mean, I'm a fan of the fact that they put two equally sized components on each side to help with the weight balance, but they still left this little dangling thing right here, which, you know, if I can be honest, it's not heavy. Um, it doesn't feel heavy, but I'm stationary, right? I'm not moving around. I can imagine that if I were to be active, if I were to be on a jog, you know, maybe that might get cumbersome, you know? I, I can definitely see this getting annoying. I can definitely see this, yeah, see? I can definitely see it weighing down your ear and I can definitely see it um, annoying you and getting in the way. Versus this other one. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not bad, it's not terrible, it's not the end of the world, but I can definitely see that getting in your way and getting annoying. All right, well, let's try to pair our device. Um, you should just hold the middle button. Um, the instructions were actually pretty clear on that. So you long press it. It's gonna say power on, pairing, and then we should be able to see it right here. It's gonna come up as Techno Bravo B1. And we're gonna go ahead and click on them. And again, the, the impressive thing about this is that they claim 38 hours of music playback and 30 hours flat at maximum volume. Now that's gonna be really impressive and I'm gonna to have to get back to you guys on that. I'm gonna to have to use these for a few days and tell you if they really do live up to that 30 hour uh, battery life expectancy, especially at maximum volume. And if they do, that is gonna be impressive, okay? Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, they have that typical V-shape uh, in their EQ where the lows and the highs are turned up and the mids are just a little bit lacking, but that's not, uh, that's, that's not bad though. They, they really, not bad at all. I'm not sure if it's, if it's maybe how well they sit in your ear, but They they sound really well. I mean, maybe they're maybe they're just tuned really well. Maybe you know they have their gain turned up a little bit higher. Um, but they sound really good. Again, a little bit you know a little bit heavy on the lows, a little bit heavy on the highs. But you know for twenty nine ninety nine, you really really can't complain. You know you're not getting you're not getting a high fidelity pair of headphones. You're getting something that is for the gym. You're getting something that is for your day to day life, and it sounds really good. Uh, the high feel shimmery, the low feel, you know, bumpy and bassy. Uh, it's not gonna amaze you. It's not gonna blow you out of the water by any means, but it is, it is really, really good. Um, for for twenty nine ninety nine, you could definitely do much worse. Uh, these are, I'm gonna say something comparable to Skull Candy. And Skull Candy shoes tend to be a little bit more expensive, and they're even more exaggerated with their V-shaped sound. Um, let's go ahead and try to see just how good our in-ear controls are, how accurate they are. I'm pretty sure they're just fine. So for our in-ear controls, if you long press the plus, it'll take you to the next one. And if you long press minus, it'll take you back to the previous one. See, and I'm a huge fan of the fact that if you compare these to something like, what is it, the JLab Epic ANC earbuds, these are $39.99. You know, now I get that these are, you know, have active noise canceling, but they don't offer anywhere near as much uh, battery life. I believe these only offer, what is it, 14 hours of uh, active noise canceling and 25 hours of normal playtime, you know. I get it, these don't have active noise canceling, but just that 30 hour playback time at maximum value, that is just amazing. That is pretty much unheard of if you can see it. And also, again, these go for $10 more, uh, $39.99, you know. And you also get accessories in this one. You get adjustable ear hooks again in case these happen to be way too big or way too small. You can adjust them. Let me know in the comments. What are your guys' experience with uh, Techno? Have you, are these guys a new brand to you, just like they're a new brand to me? Um, what are your experiences with $20, $30, $40 wireless earbuds? Do you have any good experiences? Do you have any bad experiences? Um, I had a legendary pair of Walmart headphones that lasted me well over six months while I was working at a factory and they only cost 10 bucks. You know, but that was quite a few years ago. Uh, go ahead and share any experiences about that. And make sure to be subscribed and commenting so that you guys can be entered into the giveaway for the Alcatel Dre Tab 2 tablet. At the moment, I reached 750 subscribers. I will be giving one of these away. All you have to do is, again, comment what are your experiences on headphones like these. 
and be subscribed. Right now, we're at 600 subscribers. We're almost at 750. Go ahead and comment, be subscribed, get yourself one of these. And as always, thanks for watching.